One of the terrible sadnesses of our time is the plight of refugees, which is getting more and more attention and does not seem to be easing in any way. Writing poems doesn't seem to uh, be able to have any real effect on the great big world outside. So I focus here on the sense of failure uh, of poetry to be able to do anything. This is called The Mediterranean and is written from uh, the perspective of the west of Ireland. Here in the fields of mercy, the spirits of those hundreds, thousands of children, women, men come brushing by me, fleeing the human hornets of fanaticism and greed. Though too many have found quiet in the bitter depths of the Mediterranean Sea, who will one day rise again to the surface, children, women, men, with psalms accusatory on their lips. Now I stand on the sheltered island coast, the sea brushing the shore softly. I am awed by the yellow linen stillness of evening primrose and by butterflies storming the Bodleia, while the star-shaped golden white geranium is wilting in its pot. Aging body, dull brain perplexed, I am startled by the scream of a black back carrion gull and can image the overcrowded tubs and rusting wrecks out on perilous seas. I know that I, faced with such human turbulence, am runt and reckling. I'm no commander nor able-bodied seaman to steer the desperate into harbour. Knowing, as I do, the lyric impulse touches on strange borders and is entranced by mystery, affecting little. <laughs> 